Brian was the best. <laughs> Brian was loving, caring, compassionate, funny, extremely curious and talkative. Just as good a son as any father could ever ask for. As he was entering high school, like many kids in our society, he and 10 of his friends went to the woods and tried beer for the first time. Through the randomness of biology, genetics, or some other factor, Brian, through no fault of his own, became addicted. And that started us on a path of eight years of eight different treatment programs. The psychiatrist called up his mother and I and said, Brian's addicted to opiates. I remember Brian telling me, he said, Dad, he said, the addiction inside of me is doing push-ups. It's getting stronger. And every time I relapse, it's harder. Finally, he got to his last program, and he did wonderful. The first time he ever said, Dad, can I stay in this treatment program longer? I want to stay an extra month. I'm getting so much out of it. And he was just back to his 12-year-old Brian, funny, laughing, happy. Five weeks after having not used a drug for over a year, and he wrote a note in which he said, I feel embarrassed about who I've become and what I've done to this family. And I'm just so sorry. And then he lit a candle and he took his own life alone, feeling ashamed of what he had done to all of us. That shouldn't be. What I failed to understand as a parent, and I wish I could take time back, was his chemistry was changed. It's a disease. But unless we can understand that as a society and show empathy, just the way we show empathy with someone who has diabetes, whose body is not producing enough insulin. And if we can make that shift, more people will seek treatment. Fewer people will die. And fewer families will be shattered beyond repair. My life's work now is to change this. I found the Shadow Proof after Brian passed away. Shatterproof is the, the first national organization to uh, attack addiction from all perspectives, prevention, intervention, treatment, and recovery. Because I am given strength every day by so many people I meet who have either also lost children who are pitching in to help us. There's almost 100,000 people all over the country now who give me strength. The foundation of change is changing the way the public views addiction. If we can make that shift and the public starts to understand addiction and start treating it like a disease of which it is, then that body of knowledge that's sitting there waiting to be implemented can be unleashed. Programs that could go into schools, programs for doctors to work with their patients, medicines, recovery with respect and no shame and no stigma. That all can be unleashed if the public can make the shift of viewing addiction as the change in brain chemistry of which it really is. This is about chemistry, not character.